Thanks again for tuning in to uh, Indian Trace. And that's what we're looking at here. Uh, this is a preview because I'm going to have to do a, a, a Heritage Series video for this compartment alone that you're looking at because this one is filled with inch to inch and a half complete smokers. Uh, I'm not going to do it today, but this is going to be a preview because I am going to have to take them out. But I want you to see in this bin, and of course this is my uh, compartmentalization. This is the way I keep my display for those who you, who tune in. And I'm going to get, because of the natural light, I'm going to get to some of this awesome strawberry quartz today. Uh, which is just crazy in here. But this in here, I mean, if you just pick any piece out, I go in here. This is a preview because I will take it out, but it looks so good together. And I'll just give you a little bit of a slow-mo. Every piece that you might want to grab out of here. And I'm not going to try. I'm going to try not to touch any right now. Just take a minute or so and show you the kind of stuff I'm talking about in this. Inch to inch and a half smokers of mixed varieties. All the way back in there. Any one that you decide that you want to check out. Just happy to find type of finds. Blessed to find type of finds. Just a great place. I had to double wide that compartment. And it's got about 30 smoking points in it. I'm re I really sort of covet this bin. But let's go over to this bin, and I want you guys to see something here when the light seems to be good today. And I just wanted to make a video, and I'll figure out a way to do this as we go. This is sort of my bigger quartz points. Medium size, I should say, because my bigger ones, as many people have seen, are down here. Mm, gotta love the natural light, though. We'll get to those discuss them a little bit, where they came from. Eastern North Carolina is what anybody uh, who's tuning in is looking at. But up here in this bin, uh, I wanted to highlight that for heritage sake. These are medium-sized points. A lot of them are um, Morrow Mountains that just are great points. And I just wanted to find a good way to sort of show them off today. Now we're going to get into some of the color if we can pick it up. For there's a, a pinkish, strawberryish type of thing. This is worked down at the base. It's sort of a, a Guilford tip. Nice lance tip. This bin is full of a lot of great stuff. I was real happy when I found this one right here. Uh, it is thicker, but these are some hardier medium points that I have really loved. And I wanted to sort of give a, just a good profile of a close-up on some really great smoking Marl Mountains. And, and all, you can see they're not all perfectly balanced. They're not all, uh, uh, you know, off an assembly line uh, perfectly made. Uh, but they are made the way they needed them to be and the way they could use them, which is just blessed me. Put them in the contrast against the backside of some others. I think the color's going to come in good. My hands are red, but these these are pink. And uh, just really cool stuff they have here in, in North Carolina in terms of material. They're riddled with this pink type of uh, material. Uh, and some of them are smoky quartz, like this one. Just some great stuff. But I needed a place to put sort of my medium, uh, medium grade, bigger points because they're not small at all. These are these are all fairly big. I mean, look at this one. This is another smoker. I found this pretty early in my career before I even knew any such thing as YouTube even existed. Uh, I didn't even get it on video. I don't. I do not think. But that was a smoker. Anybody be happy to have that. It was a really cool find. And then uh, 
just moving right along with some really great, neat looking pieces. Sort of the heavy artillery type of pieces in Morrow Mountain. Sort of all the same feel and all the same style, just some just heavy weight uh, quartz crystalline, uh, both uh, rose quartz and, uh, you know, some that's more of an even an orangish. And these, if you felt the edge and tips, are sharp as can be, perfect points the way they wanted them to be. I got a rubber pad there, so uh, I know that freaks a lot of people out if I drop one or what have you, but listen, there's trillions, millions of this stuff in the ground. I, I had told myself I would rather handle, and show, and let people touch and feel and check it all out than be, uh, than be crazy about uh, somebody touching it or not letting anybody touch it or, or what have you. Uh, to me, it just seems healthier. It's sort of like a home. Uh, I tell my wife all the time, this is a home. You know, let my three boys live in it. We'll keep it as clean as we can, and we'll do a good job with hygiene and keeping the house up and keeping it clean, but let them use it. Let this be a home and not a museum, you know. And uh, although these pieces we keep, everybody, they're, they're museum grade, and we could just flat out probably show up a lot of the museums. Uh, my heart is to try to make this great stuff, and I showed you that bin today here, tangible. Make this tangible to my sons and, and to my family. Uh, I don't want them to think I'm touchy. Uh, and that's really important, just part of the spirit of it all for me, uh, because this stuff was utilitarian. This stuff was expendable to them. And although the years have passed, and we're finding this stuff thousands upon thousands of years later, some ways it's made it valuable. That's why we keep it. But listen, I know when I go back out, or I know when the rains return again, I'm going to bring in more. I have no doubt about it. And so that bin there that's empty now and has that smoker sitting back there was full of great stuff like this. And I just wanted to be able to uh, show some people out there that love crystal and just sort of a, a different type of variety how awesome it can be just to uh, sort of categorize them and keep them in, a, in an area where they have the same feel. This is probably the newest one of the batch that I found. Uh, so he's a lot of fun. but just all great white flint. Whew. Anyway, I think that just about does it. I'm going to get him back in there. And as always, I want to give a big shout out to everybody and say thanks a lot for tuning in to Indian Trace. Appreciate it.